Welcome to yet another episode of todebate.net, our podcast of debates. Sebastian, I envy you. You're sitting outside in the sun with real plants behind you. Where are you? I am in beautiful Switzerland. And for once, you're not in a hospital. You're not in a meeting room. You're, you're actually in real nature and you smile at me. What happened? It's actually a fake background. It's just to pretend that I'm <laughs> not in a hospital. <laughs> so, yes, I guess it's... Uh, you just catch me uh, that one time during the year when I'm actually healthy and it's actually sunny and I'm actually smiling. Like the great combo. Yeah, it always... Once every 10 years. Well, it always makes me uneasy when you smile at me during debates. It means you have some... It's only, be it's only because I'm very prepared today. <laughs> 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 yeah, how unusual. Yeah, I'm, I'm as prepared as usual. For me, it's always the same. <laughs> you started preparing two hours ago? <laughs> Or three? No, no, actually I prepared yesterday. But thanks for assuming that I started preparing two hours no, ago no, no, when you started you preparing. Last time. <laughs> I, was trying to be, I was trying to be optimistic. What is that supposed to mean? When did you start preparing? Tell me. As soon as I told you already last time, every time we select a new debate, The same day, I start jotting down my thoughts. And then I revise it the day before, the same day. Add the final nail to the coffin, to your coffin, by the way. Right now, it's well balanced, I have to say. <laughs> so what are we debating about today? Should Catalonia be independent? I will be defending that motion that Catalonia should be independent. Again, to remind our listeners, we randomly select sides with a flip of a coin and we can get started because I'll be the first one to argue in favor of the motion and have two minutes to do that. Sebastian goes first and argues for the motion. Who cares if Catalonia becomes independent? Honestly, the European Union is already a constellation of many different countries. Uh, in effect, it's a federation of states, federation of nations. And as maybe some people may not realize, when you're German or French or Spanish, you actually hold already two citizenships, the German, French, and Spanish one, and the European one. So in effect, we already are a federation of nation states. Just adding one more, Scotland, Catalonia, makes no difference. Let people decide for themselves. And it's always possible to define a threshold. Uh, for instance, you can say you have to have at least you know, one million, five million people so that you can create a country, whatever, like enough conditions so that that country or that nation can be self-sustainable. Um, there is a real Catalan identity in this case. There's a real language, a flag, a culture. Uh, you may have read George Orwell's, uh, George Orwell's homage to uh, Catalonia. It was a very interesting book about the Spanish Civil War. And the thing is, you may say, oh, but fine, the language and the culture, it exists today. There's some autonomy. But here's the thing. Look at France today, which I know a bit better, uh, being a Frenchman myself. Look at Brittany. There is a, a, a Britain language. And what happens today is that this language, this culture disappears. And I, the reason for that is because it's being integrated into this nation state, which is called France. And even though there's no discrimination against people living in Brittany, nobody's making an extra effort to sustain this, these historical cultural roots. And the best way probably is to have uh, the independence. Another aspect, refusing independence antagonizes, antagonizes, antagonizes people even more. So at least let's open the floor to discussion. And if people want more than autonomy, i.e. independence, let them have it. It's always possible, in fact, to merge back. Why not? You can go to independence. They realize it doesn't work. They can merge back. Look at Brexit. People have voted for Brexit. Only by 52%, you get out of the EU. Nobody thought it would happen, ever. But why not? They're exiting the EU. And finally, I'm going to conclude with this. Saying yes to independence doesn't mean saying yes to the methods that the guys um, asking for independence currently are adopting. Right? You may be in favor of independence and not agree with the methods they've been using, i.e. like this illegal referendum. So I'm distinguishing the two. In conclusion, viva Catalonia. Now, it's Dirk's turn. Let's hear his argument. Brexit? Seriously? That's your example? It's It's going to be a complete disaster for UK economy. 
it's going to it's already a complete disaster for them and they are not just as you made it sound exiting the eu it's a painful process already and it's going to take years until we figured out how the whole new relationship between uk and the rest of the eu is going to be also just to point that out no you don't have an eu citizenship because the eu is not like a regular nation state you cannot be an eu citizen you are a citizen of countries so why not uh independence for catalonia then this is the question that we are debating today and this is my position the answer to that is obvious what's next bavaria northern italy corsica all these independent regions that want to be independent and each and Every single one of them needs to build up nation state structures like uh, having an infrastructure of their own, having a banking system of their own, having all the things that you require from a nation state. They need to build that. They need to negotiate trading agreements. Uh, they need to negotiate citizenship agreements. All these things that are right now handled by the nation states and are fairly complicated and cost a ton of money. Exactly all these things right now, Catalonia doesn't have them. And this is one of the reasons why it would be a burden to all of us if they decide to leave Spain. And they would not just leave Spain. Actually, they would they would leave the whole of EU and would have to renegotiate very much like UK, very much like Britain, if they decide to do that. So that's that's a reason right there why not to do it. Next up, Sebastian. Let me respond to your three main points that I've heard. I'll take the second one, which is a factual error. You do have a European citizenship. You can look it up. It actually grants you rights, freedoms, and legal protections. And the very concrete example is that if you go to a country which is not, does not have a German embassy, you can actually go to the French embassy if there's one, and you will, will be uh, uh, received. Uh, that's a just factual uh, uh, aspect. The two aspects you mentioned about Brexit being a disaster and the difficulties or the cost being incurred by an independence both of these points are beyond the point. The fact that it's a disaster or costly has nothing to do with the right for independence. You know, if it's complicated, well, so be it. Uh, things are not always easy. It's it, if everything is a re, is being de decided because it's complicated, then nothing's going to happen. You know, uh, maybe reforming the tax system or a pension system is difficult, but that's not a, a good reason not to do it. Um, so my point here is that, well, maybe it's going to be difficult, and you're probably right on that, uh, even most certainly right, but that's not a reason not to grant them independence. Additionally, uh, let's take an example from just not even 10 years ago, uh, Kosovo. So in, this, in the case of Kosovo, they declared independence from Serbia, and it was actually fairly immediately recognized by most international countries. So why not Catalonia? So fair enough, when Co Kosovo declared independence, a number of other countries and other in, in other regions uh, said and used the same example of Kosovo and said, "Well, why not us?" So we have a pre precedence in uh, uh, in Europe, maybe not the EU, but in Europe. So why not apply it to Cal Catalonia? I'll add one more thing, um, and this one is a bit of a tricky one, but I want to bring it to the table because I, I thought hard about this, uh, and this is the reason which I don't like, to be honest, which is brought forward by some people in Catalonia, for instance, by saying, "Oh, but we give 20 billion euros in tax, you know, tax income to the central state, and we don't see any any money out of that um, because it goes to the central government and it's redistributed to the other states." Well, here's the thing. Um, I don't like that argument, but I think there is one value in separating the region from the other ones, and that it would force the other Spanish regions to get their act together of developing their economy instead of just relying on the central budget. Now, it's maybe very easy to say, but the Catalonia region is not particularly well you know, positioned uh, in terms of you know, geography or uh, any uh, resources. There's no specific natural resources. Um, in the regions as opposed to other ones. So you could certainly imagine other states in or other regions in Spain trying to find um, new ways of being encouraged to actually develop their economy. Um, so overall, I think there's plenty of good arguments from language to culture to um, examples in Europe uh, or the rest of the world where you have people asking for independence. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because the, the nobody in, the Cat in Catalonia has declared the intention to leave the EU. So we'd still be part of the same family. Um, and overall, if this is what they want and they voted for that, let them have it. 
And now on to Dirk. Let's hear his rebuttal. Several things. First off, you're wrong. If Catalonia leaves, they are not part of the EU. They are not a member of the World Trade Organization. They are not a standing member of the EU. Even if they leave and constitute a new state, they are just a new state like any other non-member of the EU. That means they would need to they would need to join the EU through the same process as any other state. And by the way, that entitles, and I looked that up very carefully on my end, that, that requires all EU member states to cast a vote and be for Catalonia joining the EU. Now, I can think of at least one EU member state that might be a bit critical about that idea. It starts with s and ends with pain. And they may just veto the idea of Catalonia joining the EU. So it's not as easy like Catalonia leaving Spain and now they continue in EU. No, that's not the case. Actually, if Spain decides to play hardball with Catalonia, that might even require Catalonians to apply for visa every time they want to, um, to visit relatives in Spain. Now let's take your second argument, being the the economical one, uh, Catalonia paying so much money for Spain. That's very similar argument to what the Brits brought forward when they decided to vote leaving EU. It's actually not true. Catalonia takes more money from Spain and EU than they pay uh, to the Spain. And you can look that up very easily because Catalonia is independent enough already to have their own credit rating. And that credit rating is a disaster. If Catalonia right now would decide to leave Spain... Um, they wouldn't be credit worthy. They would not get a loan in the EU. And this this alone is a good reason not to ask for independence of Catalonia. Not to speak of the other millions of uh, people that have relatives in Catalonia or live in Catalonia who have no appetite for independence. So it's not as clear cut. When there were when there were demonstrations for Catalonian independence, there were there was an equal amount of people on the streets actually protesting against that. So I have severe doubts if it's actually that agreed on that the Catalonians want to be out of Spain, want to be out of EU. I think it's not practical. It would be a disaster. Uh, actually, Catalonians companies that are based in Catalonia are already leaving the area because they don't want to be in an area that may be hit by such an, such an economic earthquake. And uh, I think for us as EU, uh, that we, we don't have any interest on, on, on any independence for that matter. Actually, the, the larger the, the member states and the more stable they are in the structure they have right now, the better it is for us. So being a non-Catalonian, I have no interest whatsoever in seeing other countries breaking up or breaking in smaller parts. So no, no to independence of Catalonia. Final statements. Sebastian goes first. I may have expressed myself uh, uh, not correctly, uh, but I did not say that Catalonia would be part of the EU. I said nobody in Catalonia wants to exit the EU. It will happen. You're right. But my point is they still want to be part of the EU. Be still part of the same family. Now, whether that would happen or not is a different story. And you're right on what you're saying. Now, my position here is, is to say if the people of Spain, because maybe the referendum should be across Spain, If they all vote and say, you know what, Catalonia, get out, just like Singapore was, get, was actually asked to get, get out of Malaysia in 1965, then so be it, right? Uh, my point is that there's a very strong identity. I very much like history. I very much like cultures to thrive and continue to exist. And what I'm seeing is that when they're integrated into a wider state, they actually disappear. Um, and the thing is, you're men mentioning that Spain uh, could become painful as a pain, uh, as you were saying, by maybe introducing visas for people to visit family. But if they do that, that would actually prove my point that the central authorities in Spain would actually want to retaliate against Catalonia instead of even today showing positive signs of actually having talks and discussions. If they do do this, retrospectively, in hindsight, I would actually be even more in favor of independence. And when you see what's happening right now by putting people in jail or threatening with, you know, uh, long um, jail sentences this is ridiculous it's going it's just going to make the cause and the case of the guys vying for independence so i'm saying give them independence if they want it if the spanish people want it not just the, the guys in catalonia yes let's have catalonia independent Dirk, let's hear it enforcing laws is a feature of a regular nation state with laws and regulations 
So the fact of the matter is that uh, whoever drove for independence in Catalonia didn't take the law as serious as they should have. And as a reaction to that, Spanish authorities have not much choice than to crack down on them. Yeah, if you break the law, then you have to see a judge and you may do jail time. That's the that's how it is. That's why what makes us different from from a dictatorship or some weird places on this planet. Uh, I don't see that as a as a key problem and a key feature. And the thing with the visas, I said if Spain decides to play hardball with them, and that was to illustrate that Catalonia leaving Spain is just the beginning of a very painful process for all of us and probably has consequences the people that argue over it are not fully aware of. No, it's not a good idea. No independence for Catalonia. Sorry, Catalonians, stay in Spain. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Another, de another debate in the box. Woohoo! All right. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to vote on iTunes, on todebate.net, uh, whether we convinced you uh, either way. And you can add comments on Facebook I think, and on the website as well. Or join the discussion on Facebook, Reddit. We have a Slack channel now. Twitter, whatever your poison is, we probably have a channel there. Thanks, Let's everyone. Thank you for listening. Cheers. Bye. By the way, I agree with you on the the law should be respected. But in this case, I, I would I would argue that even though they should get officially uh, jail term if they have broken the law, which I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, in practice, that it would be a massive mistake to put to actually put them in jail, even if it's the law, right? I don't disagree that it's it, it's maybe that the, the the justice system is designed that way. I I, I mean the the problem is you know you you say I want to do a referendum. The answer by the authority is, no, you have no legal basis and we forbid that you do the referendum. You say, who cares? I do it anyway. What are the things that the state can do from that on? They, the state can say, yeah, we didn't mean it in the first place, so go on. Or the state can say... Uh, but, that's my, but that's my point. You can give officially the jail term, which will actually make, give them huge complications in terms of running for elections or you know, running for civil servant jobs or whatever. It, it will already damage... Uh, their their career in many ways. There's no point in putting actually people behind bars, like physical bars. Maybe, yeah. That's my point. Yeah. It will make them as martyrs. Catalonia didn't invent that idea. I, I know that even, even in California, there is a group of people that demand independence for California from the United States, by the way. London from the rest of the UK after Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's true. London is stunned. <laughs> yeah. The US and Europe, if you compare the two of them, uh, in, in the EU, you actually have an exit clause. In the US, you don't. So in the US, if California would decide, hey, we are large enough, we have enough money, we have enough people, we do a referendum, we decide we are not part of the US anymore, then basically what the US is entitled to do and what they would probably do is they can send in troops and force. Um, in the EU, as an advantage and uh, actually as painful as it is, uh, a, an element that protects the peace between the member states, Uh, in the EU, you have an exit clause. We are right now finding out how that feels. Uh, and the UK has to go through a very long, lengthy, painful process with all of us. It's a divorce that's probably not fun in the end. But at least, at least we don't have to have a civil war if somebody wants out. much against me if i run up for elections one day oh my god you will have like this blackmailing with all the audio snippets which you can reuse oh my god i can I let you so say anything i can let you say anything starts with not showering for months um, <laughs> 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 talking right, about nazis and hitler yeah.